So here we are camping in Worcester. I've got the Slummit Gobi 310 to try. It's 30 degrees, it's absolutely roasting. My daughter's in the caravan, but me and the lad, we've got to sleep in the tent. So let's get it set up. That's the tent itself with the built-in flash frame. I'll put the details on the screen about the frame. So that's it. So that's the centre part of the frame. All we do now is we fold the legs out. One. Two. Three, four. Then what we do? Is we pull this up. There we go. That's the tent top. That's it. So what we do, get it into position, peg it down, pull the porch out, and it's as easy as that. Let's peg it down, and then we will do the porch. So I've already got the two berth and I've got the four berth. This one's the three berth. So we'll now put the pole for the porch. Now what these do, these go in that oilet over there. the clips on and all we do is we peg out this bottom bit that's the porch ground sheet one through there one through there One through there, one through there. There we go. Next, we have this top cover. This goes across the top to stop any water getting through the seam. There we go, that's that bit. Then all we need to do now is just pull the back out. And all this does, this keeps the outer skin away from the inner skin, so it stops any water transferring.
I won't bother with any guide ropes today. We've not got any wind. But here's our windows for our circulation. There's another guide rope. That's it. That's a Slummit Gobi 3 complete setup. We'll have a look at the inside. And there we go. That's the floor space. So we've got air vents all the way around. This is the inner door. There we go. That's all we'll do. We'll set the air bed up. I've bought a double air bed, so we'll see how that fits. So that's the size with the double air bed. So there's room each side. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this over and we're going to put in another single air bed there. There we go. Double air bed, single air bed. Right to the edge. So that's how big the inside is. So you can get three people in. It'll be a bit snug. But they fit quite easily. And we're not even pushing the sides. So we're not touching the outer tent. There we go, all set up. Our bed's done. Sleeping bags are in. Pillars are on. We're ready for the weekend. In 30 degrees. We'll see how we get on tonight, sleeping in it. Well, here we are in the tent. It's at about 27 degrees. We've got the door open. We've got plenty of ventilation. What's the tent like, bro? Sick. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Plenty of room at the mate for a double air bed and a single air bed. Yep. The thing is, not very much space here, but it's good still. Yeah, not much space between us, but you can get double air bed and a single air bed, so enough for three people. It does its job. Well, we had a good night's sleep. It was hot in here. It was about 23 degrees last night. Ease up and out. It's ideal. Ideal size. Plenty of room. These work great, these fly nets. They let the breeze in and out. But a little bit of rain in the night, not much, but I woke up and all the tent was wet and the grass was wet. But there we go, I'm happy with it. Now, we get to take it down. Right, so same as pulling it up, release the top. And then just fold it, legs back in on itself. One. Two. We need the strap. And what we do, bring the legs up to the middle. One. Two.
free. Four. There we go. And there we go, that's a slummit Gobi 3.